What's the Wolf Pack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm White Wiggins, the one and only. And today is Friday, November 13th, and we are here with your This Is Only Announcements. Well, it is Friday, so you know what that means, of course. Yep, fifth week in the making. It is time for Pop. What's Pop and Wolf Pack? I'm Paul Sabulo, and this is Pop, where we pop in and show you posts in the pack. Even though we're all stuck at home, be sure to use our hashtag, CHSWPTV, for a chance to be in our show next week. Now, let's check out our Wolf of the Week, Anthony Graceby Jr. COVID affected my senior year because I was really planning on having fun, doing all the dances, all the rallies, uh, playing sports, probably now, and just having a good time, hanging out with all my friends prior to me going to college. So, it like now I can't do none of that, but I mean, I'm still having fun, still doing all my stuff, still working out, still doing football, but I mean, I feel like it would have been a lot better if COVID wasn't around. Uh, my favorite memory from CL was probably last year when we played uh, Monterey Trails on our homecoming night, and we ended up beating them in by one point in the last couple seconds of the game. For all the freshmen, uh, I just wanna say like, don't slack on your work. Like, if you just get your work in, Turn on all your stuff, focus. Like It's only four years here. If you just focus for them four years, you'll end up having a better four years after that. So get your stuff done, turn it in. Don't don't be goofing off in class. They don't really do much for you. Be paying attention. Just, I mean, te- teachers are, te- the teachers here, they're like, they're they're human too. Like they make mistakes. All the, all the adults, they make mistakes too, just like we do as, as kids. But I mean, just respect them, just do your stuff though. Uh, my goals for this year were to just boost my GPA up as much as I can for the last four terms that I have and to just have fun, like hang out with the people that I be hanging out with as much as possible before I go off to college and before we all go our separate ways and just to have a good time, play football, try to get a, try to get some more scholarships and just that's it. After I graduate, I plan on pursuing my dream of playing football. I, I just want to go to college, get a, get a full ride to a Division One school, and play football, see where I could take that. Thank you, Anthony. Good luck with the rest of the year. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Sabulo. Back to the anchors. Hey, Dylan, have you been feeling anxious lately? Yeah, with school, it's been pretty rough. Speaking of which, it relates to our announcement today, as we have said anxiety is, in fact, been at an all-time high as a student and parents too. Both of them can learn more about copying strategies and raise their awareness for the factor of anxiety. If you attend this virtual workshop, Angst, from November 14th to the 16th, interact with students and others hoping to get through it and figure out how to you know, help with your anxiety. Yeah, I definitely recommend trying it, especially if you're feeling the pressure of life. But hey, Wyatt, how about we switch gears? Here we have John here to keep you up to date with everything sports related. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. This week, we're going to be talking about Major League Baseball, so let's swing on into it. Major League Baseball has been around for 150 years, yet today they take a major step with the Miami Marlins making Kim Ng the first female general manager in the history of the game. I entered Major League Baseball as an intern, and after decades of determination, it is the honor of my career to lead the Miami Marlins as their next general manager, Ng said. She is also believed to be the first female general manager in any professional men's sport in North America. Ng started her baseball career with the White Sox and rose to become assistant director of baseball operations. She also worked for the American League for one year and then joined the Yankees, becoming the youngest assistant general manager in MLB at 29 and only the second woman to attain that position with the major league club. She was the Dodgers' vice president and assistant general manager. Kim Ng has given us another inspiring story and shows us that you can do anything you want as long as you put your mind to it. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan. Thanks, John. Hey, seniors. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all. The men's scholarship competition is open. Fire and additional information will be available by scanning this code. I advise you check it out. I am Wyoming, the one and only. And I'm Dylan Brazier. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a fantastic Fantastic Friday. Friday.